This is Twit. Uh, so I'm on Project Fi now. I switched officially when I got my uh, my Pixel 2 XL back from Megan last Thursday, and I went to set it up. It automatically like jumped into Fi because I guess I had gotten to the point in the setup on the computer, and the Pixel has a an eSIM in it already. So it saw me setting up the device, and it was like, "Oh, okay, registering Fi. Here you are." And it set it up, and I was like, "Oh, well, I guess I'm Fi now." So I'm on Project ha Fi. And so far, so good. I'm actually really liking it a lot. Um, today's app has helped me get a little bit more insight into what's happening on Project Fi. And I have to thank Burke here at Twit for pointing this out to me. It's an app I had heard of before, but I didn't actually test at all because I was never on Project Fi. So he reminded me of it. And it's actually really great. It's called Signal Spy. There's a free version. Uh, there is also a pro version. I think I, I paid $2 for the pro version, and that unlocks it so it removes some ads and gives you some expanded capabilities and everything. But basically what this is, they say that it's an app not specific to Project Fi, but I, I would venture to say that most of the toolkit is really ideal for Fi users. It allows you, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the app. So what it shows me right now is it shows me the carrier that I'm connected to. Currently, I'm connected to Sprint. That's been very interesting to me because, you know, Fi automatically switches between T-Mobile and Sprint and I think U.S. Cellular, depending on which one you have the best connectivity with. And I've noticed myself through this app connected to Sprint more than T-Mobile, and I'm not sure that I expected that. Anyways, it shows me as currently connected to Sprint. It also shows me as currently connected to Wi-Fi, and this is another thing that Project Fi does to help save your data consumption. It has you, you know, connected simultaneously. It'll pass through Wi-Fi if it's available, and then it will hop over to uh, your carrier if it needs to. Um, so you get a little bit of that 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 information. You can find more more details about that, I believe. Yeah, and, and you know, if you're having any issues, you can update it, or you can get really nerdy with some of the stuff that I'm probably not going to touch because I wouldn't know what I'm doing um, with some of these things. But what's really useful for Project Fi users is this launch dialer codes section. You go in there and you have all of these different dialer codes that will actually force your phone or at least attempt to force your phone to change into a different different operational mode. So Project Fi is automatically, this auto mode, um, by default, switching between carriers um, as need be, right? If I really want to be, be connected to T-Mobile, and because I'm a pro user, it automatically takes me to the dialer when I switch to T-Mobile. It dials the code within Project Fi or within my phone to switch away from the Sprint uh, Sprint connection and go over to T-Mobile. And it says uh, switched. And now, as you can see, I'm connected to T-Mobile. So it gives you a little bit more capabilities of controlling your Project Fi experience for whatever reason, maybe maybe you're somewhere and you're noticing that your your connectivity is just really bad and you aren't willing to accept that that's just the way it is. You could go in here and you could, you know, go into a dialer code and force it to check something out. Or, you know, this repair is another way. If, if you're realizing that your connectivity is spotty or there's something going on, that's another option for you. You hit you hit repair and it'll force it. Um, so just kind of a really cool way to kind of take a little bit more control over Project Fi. I would recommend, though, if you switch on one of these things, I think they persist for a couple of hours and then it would switch back. But you might want to go back to auto uh, so that you're you know back into uh, Project Fi's kind of smart switching mode because uh, it's a good place to be. Uh, and then you've got network history. So it'll show you all the different times uh, throughout your history here, and I'm not sure how far back this goes, 226. What is today? The 27th. So this goes back to yesterday. I've been running it for a couple of days, so that makes sense. But it'll show me kind of the different states of my phone. What have I been connected to? You know, was it Sprint? Was it T-Mobile? U.S. Cellular? And uh, I don't know. It's kind of an interesting insight into your, your phone's uh, usage of Project Fi and the service. And like I said, they say that uh, that you can use this for other, you know, for other reasons outside of Fi, but I, I really feel like it's a tool set that's really designed for Project Fi users. So it's called Signal Spy. And uh, yeah, if you're on Fi in particular, check it out. It's a really cool kind of bonus thing to have installed on your phone. 
might get you out of trouble.